Well, we can speak now to Rod McKenzie, who's the Managing Director of Policy at the Road Haulage Association. He joins us live from Oxford. This is the kind of thing that must be keeping you awake at night, I would imagine. Uh, are you just perplexed? Are you angry that you still don't really know what the situation is going to be uh, in less than six months' time? Well, you're absolutely right, Vicky. Uh, I can barely sleep at night. But more importantly, most of our members and the businesses that make up the all-important supply chain in the UK at the moment are really, really bewildered uh, because this is happening much too late in the, in, in the game. The NAO is absolutely right. We're running out of time very fast. Uh, there are no uh, proper uh, IT systems in place, customs or border checks in place, including staff. And without that, if there is a hard Brexit, and I say if uh, a no-deal Brexit happens, we're looking at chaos at the ports. So what can your members do to try and alleviate that? Is there anything that they can do uh, to try and make sure that this doesn't happen and that their businesses can be protected? Well, we've been lobbying on behalf of our members for a very long time now to the government saying, come on, you need to give us some very clear guidance about what we can do to get ready. And that hasn't been uh, forthcoming, frankly. Uh, and this now leaves us with very, very little time. I suppose what I should try and explain to your viewers, Vicky, is a little bit about the how the system works now and how it could work in future. In summary, it is simply that at the moment, lorries travel from uh, Britain to the continent on a roll-on, roll-off basis, no customs checks, no border checks. They just roll onto a ferry and come out the other side. There are four million vehicles that do that every year on the Dover Straits, Dover Calais crossing every year. Now, if you introduce a 5, 10, 15, 20 minute border check where there is none now, and that's what would happen if there was a hard Brexit, uh, then you would have queues along the M20 motorway, the connecting M26 and elsewhere. Uh, and you'd have choke points wherever there's a port. Uh, and that's the real fear. Now, what we need to be able to say to hauliers and other businesses is what you need to prepare is one, two, three steps that they can take now. But truly, there is nothing they can do to prepare short of hoping uh, for a Brexit deal. And some have talked about alternative routes, haven't they, about other ports or doing it through the air? I mean, the trouble is with that, presumably you're up against the same problem, are you? Well, Vicky, if you talk about ports, let's just think about this for a moment. If you're bringing in what the government regards as essential supplies, things like medicines, they've still got to make landfall at a port and a lorry has still got to pick it up from the port and take it to where it needs to be. If all the lorries are stuck in traffic jams trying to get to the ports, that's impossible. Uh, and, uh, you know, we can't suddenly magic special lorries uh, to dodge around all the traffic jams that there are just to pick up these essential supplies and take them to where they need to, to go. So there's not really been thought through well, this. So do you think that, given everything you've been saying, People have said that some are scaremongering about what might happen, that we will be short of medicines that we need, we might even be short of food. Do you think then actually that they're not scaremongering, that this is a possibility? Well, what I don't think, it's not scaremongering and none of us wants this to happen. What we want is a Brexit deal, which means that we have the same border arrangements, whether they're in Ireland or with the continent that we have now. Roll on, roll off, no checks. Uh, and, and the supply chain for our all-important foodstuffs, our all-important medicines and our all-important uh, factory components get to where they need to get to in time. Remember the thing about the supply chain, when it works, no one notices. You just get your strawberries. Uh, but when it doesn't work, uh, suddenly you've got empty supermarket shelves, you haven't got the medicines you need and all the rest of it. Now, that's not scaremongering. It is pointing out that if we do have a hard Brexit, we will suddenly be in a world that we've not been used to for 30 or more years in terms of the supply chain that makes Britain move. OK, Roger McKenzie, must leave it there. Thank you very much indeed for joining us this evening. That's Rod McKenzie from the Road Haulage Association.